Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on the masking feature in the edge actions of Z Modeler. Z Modeler brush can be accessed from the brush palette. You can also press B, Z and M to get the Z Modeler in hand. Hover the cursor on the edge and then choose the mask. So mask has a simple targets here. The first one is the edge. You can select any one of the edge here and then that becomes a masked edge. You can invert that and later can be edited for anything like that. So I'm going to select uh, the edges continuously to mask them or I can hold alt and remove the masking for the edges which you have masked earlier. You also have uh, different types of targets like edge loop partial. So edge loop partial is where the loop is ending. So here you could able to see this is ending from that two points. So just click anywhere and then it, it just uh, masks that particular edge loop while edge loop complete will go around the loop uh, even though there are uh, the, the loop is broken you have a, a loop poly loop which is uh, perpendicular to the selection like edge loop is going to select the parallel ring there where the poly loop selects the perpendicular loop uh, which is uh, quite uh, different from what we have selected for the loop because uh, if i select this here it's only selecting the edge okay it's only selecting that edge and if i invert it we're able to see that uh, this is only scaling up that edge outside but if i select the poly loop there and then if i scale it you should be able to see it's scaling the whole face there so that's how it is different and uh, masking is all all the times a great way to handle complex things so if you want to mask uh, differently from your traditional masking setup you can use this tool and if you got any questions related to this tool, you can ask me in the comment section and I request you to like the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.